Sound Design. Yeah. All right, so what is auto magnitude and why do we need to be careful with it? So in my interview with Michael John from Eclipse Audio, I asked him what he thought was maybe some of the um, most common mistakes people are making when they are new to beginning to use his software and other types of FIR filters and FIR filter designers. And he said um, he cautions people not to lean too heavily on the auto correction functions like auto magnitude and auto phase. So what is that? So over here in FIR Creator, I can show you a demo of that. We're in the auto magnitude tab here. I'll just turn on the filter and from now from 100 to um, 18K, it is automatically correcting the magnitude against this target that I have here. So I'll turn off the phase so you can see that. Uh, so there's the target that it's trying to reach. So I'll turn the filter off and on and you can see it auto-correct all that stuff. So it's automatically creating all these filters. Now this can get really crazy when we start to uh, turn down the smoothing and go all the way down to 148th and now, you know, you're inserting a million little filters here to make the result perfectly flat there. Uh, this is kind of fun to look at. So it's kind of mind blowing when you see this for the first time and it's really exciting and, and you kind of think like, oh great, an auto EQ, this is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna make everything flat everywhere. And then Michael says, be careful. Um, those are included, but don't rely on them. Drivers change their behavior with level and temperature. And if you take your measurement, you know, whatever measurement I used here to create this filter against, uh, maybe that was taken in one spot of the room, uh, in a different spot of the room, that's not gonna um, be the same. And also ambient conditions can change. So he says, you may be correcting perfectly for one measurement location, in the room on a specific day and time, but you may make things slightly worse at other points in the room or other levels. So we want to avoid something uh, that is so specific like this that we're getting into every tiny peak and valley that really could change just by moving a couple of seats over or to the other side of the audience. So uh, that's auto magnitude and that's why you should be careful with it. I'm curious if any of you guys are using this in the field. Um, let me know. Thanks. Sound design. Yeah.